Concerns are growing after a Miami City Commissioner has recently voted to move forward with that pilot program, creating a homeless encampment on Virginia Key, right next to land that has already been deemed as critically endangered. And though it's not a done deal yet, the city is still looking at other possible sites. Nature lovers are sounding off and gearing up for a fight to save Virginia Key. It's tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. You can see manatees, you can hear the birds flying overhead. This is Miami. This is the heart of Miami. An eco paradise that may be lost forever, many fear, if the city of Miami moves forward with a controversial pilot program that would take the homeless off the streets and bring them here next to bike paths, a public park, and a lagoon where children and families come to play in nature. We have a serious issue with homelessness in Miami. Are you homeless, sir? It is here the city is looking to build an encampment of tiny homes for 50 to 100 people at the north point of historic Virginia Key. There will be nothing here. This will be a forgotten place. Esther Alonzo is fighting to protect this shared backyard. She runs the Virginia Key Outdoor Center, where residents and visitors of all ages can rent kayaks and paddle boards to get up close to nature that, thanks to the efforts of many, is now thriving here. The wildlife here has bounced back, where in other parts of the state, the manatee population is dwindling. Here, it's increasing. It is the environmental impact of this proposed transition zone that is loudly ringing alarm bells. Why would anybody think about putting a homeless encampment out on Virginia Key? Sonny McLean is one of the co-founders of the Virginia Key Alliance, instrumental in creating the Virginia Key Master Plan, a blueprint for how this land is to be protected and used for generations to come. They're going to build residences. There are no residents on Virginia Key. That's why we like it. What we're building or going to build are tiny homes. In fact, the potential environmental impact never came up, not even once, when City of Miami commissioners voted three to two last week to move forward with plans to consider Virginia Key as a possible site spearheaded by Commissioner Joe Carroyo. Because you're putting tiny homes here, that's not going to have any impact on the environment. But the county says otherwise. No building permit should be issued without review and consideration of all possible environmental impacts by the Miami-Dade Division of Environmental Resource Management. Over the years, Miami-Dade County has invested millions here in habitat restoration, contamination assessments, and remediation efforts. Not just that, the proposed camp sits right next to land the county has already identified for acquisition for the conservation of environmentally sensitive lands through its EEL program. And though Virginia Key is in the city of Miami, this is not the right location. It's also a part of Miami-Dade Commissioner Raquel Regalado's District 7, and she's actively working on presenting the city with other options. We're also taking the opportunity to educate folks on how environmentally sensitive Virginia Key is and why we should preserve it. The surrounding Biscayne Bay is at a critical tipping point because of all the pollutants that continue to flow into the watershed. And there is legitimate concern that Virginia Key is just not ready for this. It's for recreational use. The most you see there is like one bathroom, you know, and a porta potty, not 50, 100 people using it day in and day out. And that would all run off, you know, into the water uh, and further contaminate the area. I find the Virginia Key location to be ideal. And though her vote last week was to move forward with this potential site, freshman commissioner Christine King told me all bets are off if this would hurt our fragile ecosystem. We can't destroy one thing to help something else. And if it's not environmentally sound, it's not a good fit, is it? The city will come back in September with its final decision. There is so much at stake. Indeed, so much at stake. And there are so many hurdles with this. The proposed camp would sit next to a wastewater treatment plant. There's also a high school, Mast Academy, close by. And there are laws about who can live next to any place where children congregate. Plus, there's not a grocery store for miles, and there are transit issues. So many questions the city of Miami has yet to address about the viability of this location. Tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m., there will be a virtual town hall to address these concerns and so much more hosted by Commissioner Regalado. If you'd like to watch, we have that link on our website. Scan that QR code. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure section of Local10.com. And if you're born and raised in Miami, you know Virginia Key. You love that piece of land you've recreated there. It means so much to so many people here. Right. I mean, it's just there's so many questions still to be answered. And there are other locations that they could also look to. Right? That's what we're going to talk about tomorrow.